Hey, good afternoon, Dan, Midwest Technical. Say, so, what we're going to cover today are picker locks, and we're also going to uh, talk about the case that gets um, out of shape at, at, one, at certain times and the magazine stick. So, we'll do the picker lock first, and then if you want to do something else, you don't have to watch the rest of it, but you can kind of go on from there. Okay, the picker lock actually looks like this. We had these made up because people always were losing them. And the picker lock goes into this hole right here. You can see this little hole in the center here. That's where it slides into. And from the factory, it looks like this. It's got a tension. Remove the picker lock before powering it on. And then store it where you should store it, which a lot of people might not do, which is right back here. There's a little slot for the picker lock right back here. That's where it should go. So a lot of people might just throw it away and they don't have a picker lock. Okay, what the picker lock does is it, um, when the picker goes to home, and the way you get the picker to go to home is you turn it off with the button on the front. You just don't pull the plug out of the back and say it's at home because it won't be at home. Okay, so home it's got to be back over here, a little slot on the picker comes back, and this particular piece goes in there and locks it in place. Now, if you're three years away and you don't have anything, we've uh, came up with an alternative thing. This is a modified paper clip, okay? And all I did is snip the top off things so it doesn't stick up here. This is kind of what it looks like, okay? And you can put that in there, it'll serve as a picker lock, little piece of tape over it, and then you can ship it or you can move it. So whatever you, whatever you want to do with that. So that covers the picker lock. The other thing, and I want to cover it with you now if you're going to be moving this, is that you also want to look at, this is the standard thing that comes on top of it. Do not lift the unit by the display. So they don't want you lifting it from the back and the front. They want you to lift it from the side, okay? And that sort of is a lead-in to our next one on why these magazines go in and out so hard. So, if you're done with the picker lock, you don't have to watch the rest. If you want to learn something about the magazines, feel free to stick around. What happens uh, on these units here is that sometimes these screws, screws will loosen up a little bit. And when you start lifting it by one end, or lifting it by the other end, or getting on an on unflat surface, or any time you have to remove the cover, we've always encouraged people to put it on a flat surface. What is a flat surface, okay? Well, in our area, what we have here is a quarter inch piece of aluminum, okay? It's mounted on four by four pieces of aluminum, uh, 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 iron, uh, uh, aluminum uh, uh, channel, and it keeps it off of the bench. And then we have a real flat surface for this thing to work. Um, these come out very hard, and you might say, well, how hard is hard? Um, what we have here is a little gauge that, that measures in pounds how much force it takes to get it out. Uh, I'm a shooter, so I'm always fiddling around with triggers, and if we don't hit the target, we blame the trigger, okay? So let me just put this little digital thing on here, and I'm going to pull this guy um, out, um, and we'll show you some of the readings that we get. Now, it's getting kind of hard here, medium hard, slipping and sliding here. It's really hard, and it's really hard over here, okay? So... What this is telling us is that it takes us 7, point, seven pounds, 15 ounces of pressure to move this out, okay? Really hard, right? And it kind of, you know, it's, it's just not, doesn't slide properly. This one is a little bit better. Okay, what I'm going to do, and we're going to stop the video for a while, but basically, I'm going to remove all of these screws. I'm, not, I'm just going to loosen them up, okay? And heads up on this, guys. you got some Phillips head. Phillips head here, Phillips head here. And then the other screws that we're going to remove are on the back. 
and fits for this screw here, which is the I.O. board. You gotta loosen that guy up, loosen this one up, loosen this up for the power supply, loosen this up here, take out these four or two, whatever you have, so the drive comes up, okay? Got the drive ready to come out, drive goes away. So it's gonna take me about uh, five minutes and you don't wanna see me running a screwdriver, but I do it. We typically use these in the lab and I've got it set at one so it doesn't strip the screws out. You know, just be careful whatever kind you use. Feel it with your hand, you can use these if you'd like. Uh, so you need like a number 10 and also this here. So let me go ahead and make the fixes on that. We're gonna stop the video and I'm gonna show you how easily the magazines slide in and out. So give us a second. Okay, I've loosened these screws up. I've got it on a real nice flat surface. And you saw that this one was almost seven pounds of force to open it. You'll see how easy it slides out. Okay? We'll put our little trusty gauge on it and we'll measure it. Comes out with two pounds and three ounces as opposed to seven pounds pulling it out before. So that, that's the end result of loosening them up, putting on a flat surface and then tightening the screws back down. Um, and that's about it. And we find this, they get sprung a lot in shipping. Somebody moves it. You know, there's all kinds of issues with it. So it doesn't affect the performance too much if it goes in and out kind of hard, but some people, it just bugs them. You know what I mean? So if you want to fix it, go ahead and fix it. Thanks for your time.